what has become clear is that tolerating Obama, tolerating Hillary, is going to create war. Right? It's going to create uh, economic strife to the extent they stay with Wall Street, and it's going to create war in the Middle East, war in Syria, you know, war in Iran, war in Iraq, war in who, where, you know, and potentially war in Russia. So these these things cannot be avoided, and it's the reason why Trump has such a chance at this point of becoming president. Because although you know, there's obvious issues with uh, the Trump uh, with Trump, the, the Democratic Party has become, you know, over the past eight years especially, a party of war and a party of, you know, Wall Street, a controlled element. The na they have only the name of you know, FDR and of Kennedy, you know, which were 50 you know, plus years ago, that, that they're living off of. And you know, it's, not, it's not recent, the, which is why you know, most young people aren't interested in the elections and most old people are you know, becoming disenfranchised and you know, at this point you know, uninterested or worried. And at this point, Trump speaking about you know Glass Steagall and and you know how this will support how this you know he's going to implement this is you know unique or is is uh, I mean you know most of the American people wants Glass Steagall across party party lines you know, is that in uh, in Pennsylvania, Missouri, and Ohio in the swing states. Uh, this is the issue of Glass Steagall is the prime issue. You know, seventy percent of, of voters strongly support it, and so Trump playing this, even you know, it's sort of a po you know, it's clearly populist, and he's trying to you know win over people by just saying what they want to hear. It's also it also points out the fact that the other candidate won't even say what is clearly the right choice. Right, Obama and Hillary won't back at Glass Steagall. They want to defend Dodd Frank, and they want to, and that just doesn't fly anymore. So. You know, and you know Trump hitting on the failure in the in the opium with opium with the the epidemic that has gripped this nation. You know that's this is just fuel to the fire. You know as far as you know the the destruction of you know Obama and of and of uh, Hillary potentially and you know, of Hillary. So I mean this is this is the the issue, right? That uh. U.S. is collapsed to the point where, you know, people are swung over by someone saying something that it, that is right, even if it's clear they don't wouldn't have any intention of backing it up. Or maybe there's people around Trump who will who will back him up. That seems to be, you know, at least somewhat the case. You know, obviously from the fact that he's saying this, he's gathered some smart people around him. You know, whether or not that will continue, and whether or not he'll remain committed to the to the Ideas that 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 intelligence gives him, and that you know, et cetera, et cetera, is another question. But uh, you know, the the rest the rest of the world can is looking for development, is looking to move. You know, with China, Malaysia's now uh, had, the prime minister went to uh, you know went to China, and he has uh, got a thirty four point four billion deal for economic development. And you know, they're they're just seeing it as business, as something they can do to help you know themselves and their people, and you know the uh, the posturing of the U.S. to to you know to bully and say, oh well, you don't want to deal with China. They're they have bad human rights. And it's like, no, well, the U.S. has not done so well either. So maybe I'll you know I'll I'll talk to China. They're near us. They don't we don't want to have a war with them, you know. And you know so they're. The, the Asia pivot of Obama is collapsing, it's totally collapsed. And, you know, Japan is looking to, to do business with Russia. You know, these, these things are, are happening. And what is the U.S. doing? The U.S. is, you know, as far as uh, the future, if the U.S. doesn't have a future, it's, it's, uh, it's committed to, you know, as far as the space industry, for example, it's committed to, you know, it's private enterprise, which are now... You know, we've had this we've had this scandal of showing that it's not safe. You know, that the 
SpaceX has had, you know, an accident, and that there have been reports that uh, you know, there was complaints from NASA about how SpaceX was refueling its its uh, you know launchers, uh, the its, you know space vehicle space launch vehicles. So yeah, I mean, we'll talk more about the heroin epidemic, but we'll discuss that. You know, this is and yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wiping out an entire generation, huge portion of the population in was it Pennsylvania? Uh, yeah, is you know has these uh, has babies that are addicted that are born addicted and have parents that were drug addicts and you know as a result of that 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 whole problem is being born into a new generation and is really something that we need to address. You know, it's not going to happen through. Yeah, through avoiding the crisis. So, those are some things I wanted to say and was thinking about. Hope everyone is well.